Good morning, viewers. Welcome to Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. This is Core Mathematics, Wasi, September 2024. They just ended Wasi. Compulsory question four. In the diagram, P, R, Q, S are points on the circle. So, P, R, Q, S. We see that they are points on the circle. Side that angle R, T, P. So, where is angle R, T, P? R, T, P. R, T, P. So, you're looking at this angle. Measures 20 degrees, as you can see. Again, angle Q, S, R. Angle Q, S, R. Angle Q, S, R. This angle measures 30 degrees. And the line P, Q. This line. Line P, Q. This straight line here is a diameter. So we have to calculate A, angle QRS. Why is angle QRS? Angle QRS. QRS. So we are looking at this angle. And then B, we are also to calculate angle PQS. So angle PQS. PQS. So this angle. That's what we are looking for. So now we were told that line PQ is a diameter. Line PQ is a diameter. And we know that a diameter subtends an angle of 90 degrees at the circumference. So this diameter here is subtending an angle of 90 degrees at the circumference. So the whole of this angle here. The whole of this angle here should measure 90 degrees. So I'm representing uh, the unknown angle here as A. So meaning that A plus 30 degrees should give us 90 degrees. So A plus 30 should be equal to 90 degrees simply because the diameter subtends an angle of 90 degrees at the circumference of a circle. So let's solve for A. So A is equal to 90. So we transpose positive 30 becomes minus 30. Therefore, A is 60 degrees. So this angle here measures 60 degrees. Now, but we are looking for angle QRS. We are looking for this angle. So how then do we calculate this angle? Now, again, you could see that there is a straight line. And then this straight line, we are having three different angles on the straight line. One angle, one angle measuring A, one angle measuring 30, and then an unknown angle. So let me represent this unknown angle here as B. The whole of this angle is measuring B. So we know that angles on the straight line sum up to 180 degrees. So A plus 30 plus B as we call 280. But what is the value of A? A is 60. So plus 30 plus B is equal to 180. And then 60 plus 30, 90. Plus B is 180. So B is equal to 180 minus 90. So B is 90 degrees. So B here also measures 90 degrees. B measures 90 degrees. So now how then do we calculate this particular angle? So considering this triangle, so triangle R T S triangle R T S. So from triangle R T S from triangle R T S. We know that 
20 degrees here plus B plus 30. So we are having a triangle. So the measure of this angle here is B plus 30. And then we know the value of B as uh, 90 degrees. So 90 plus 30. 90 plus 30 should give us 120. So plus 120 plus an unknown angle here, angle QRS. So I'm representing angle QRS as C. So plus C must be equal to 180 degrees because this is a triangle. 20 degrees plus the angle B plus 30 making C 90 plus this C must be equal to 180. So let's solve for C. 20 plus 120. That should give us 140 plus C is equal to 180. So C is equal to 180 minus 140. So C is 40 degrees. And then we know that C is also the same as angle. So A, angle QRS, QRS, which is represented as C, measures 40 degrees. So we are done with the A. Now the B. We have to calculate angle PQS. Angle PQS, this one, PQS, this angle here. I'm representing angle PQS as D. D. So, so now, meaning that we have to consider uh, this triangle here. Now we know that the angle a chord subtends at the circumference in the same segment are equal. So we have a chord here. And this chord is subtending two angles at the circumference. So this is one of the angles, C. And then another angle here. So let me represent this angle here as E. So because these two angles are in the same segment, angle C should be equal to angle E. Angle C should be equal to angle E because a chord substance equal angles at the circumference in the same segment. So let's put down something. So angle for that angle C is equal to angle E simply because angles in the same segment are equal. But what is the measure of angle C? For angle C, we have 40 degrees. So we can conclude that E is also equal to 40 degrees. So we have E measuring 40 degrees. Now, how then do we calculate angle D? So from triangle, from, from this triangle, triangle PQS, triangle PQS. So from triangle PQS, we know that this D here plus E, why do we get for E? E is 40 plus A. A we had 60 degrees plus this 30 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Since there is a triangle. So now let's simplify. Let's simplify. So 40 plus 60. 100. And then 100 plus 30, 130. So we are having D plus 130 is equal to 180. So D is equal to 180 minus 130. So D is equal to 180 minus 130. It's 50 degrees. So we represented angle PQS as D. So you can conclude that angle PQS 
measures 50 degrees. Thanks for watching.